guys welcome back to my old and new subscribers if you're new you're welcome darling hit the subscribe button and join my big happy family and don't forget to also hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever i drop a new video and if you're already a subscriber <laughs> i love you guys you know how we do it let's get into today's tutorial so i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve that crochet braid that looked really really natural on 4c hair so now there's a specific braiding pattern that i used for this hairstyle and if you want to see how the hair was braided be sure to check my last video just click that link up there i'm also going to put it in the description box so that you can get the exact braiding pattern to get the exact look so now i had some leave out in front because i want to break those ones individually and what i'm doing right now is just i'm stretching my hair using the african threading method this is going to help my hair stretch so that it could blend easily into the box braids when I braid it. Because if you if your hair is natural, if you have natural falsy hair, you know that sometimes it really sticks out when it's braided with synthetic hair. So I'm going to do this. And now my hair was already braided in a cornrow, which is why my hair is already slightly stretched. But if your hair is not stretched at all, you could really benefit from this method if you do not want to use heat. You could use heat, but of course, you know, we like to stay away from heat because we're natural because you know heat damage and all duh so now i'm showing you guys the um crochet hair that i'm using it's already pre-braided and it's the brand is called freedom crochet hair freedom crochet hair and each pack contains about 60 of those crochet hair so i'm using that means using two packs i have 120 at my disposal and it's really long and lightweight and super super shiny like i think it's long maybe like 26 to 30 inches because i'm like i, I stand about five foot four inches and this hair gets up to my butt i'm not saying my waist i mean my butt so that's how long it is so the first thing that i did was that the one strand of hair that was left from my natural cornrow i crocheted i crocheted it crocheted it oh god into my cornrow so that that end could disappear and now, now i'm beginning to crochet my hair using my crochet pin the process is very simple what i'm doing is that i'm making sure that the first layer of hair i'm placing which is at the bottom of my my crochet hair at the back of my head is really thick and covered and full so that when i pack my hair up in a ponytail if it can also be like appear to be covered from behind if you understand what i mean i don't want it to be scanty behind so i'm doing that then after doing that what you want to do is that you want to count how many crochet hair you have left and then count your cornrow and you're going to do some mathematics you're going to divide the crochet hair by the number of cornrows you have so that you know how many crochet hair goes on each cornrow so i think i did about seven or eight crochet hair on each cornrow or so so that everything can be evenly distributed and covered which is what i did so now um when i was done but rather before i even started i removed 20 of the crochet hair and reserved it for the front of the hair because we want the front to be really full and covered you don't need any space in the front of your crochet hair okay so at this point i'm just crocheting my way through and believe me this hair took me about two hours it didn't take long at all it took two hours because i had to braid the front if i didn't have to break the front it would have taken less time so now i'm done and you guys can see that there's still some space in front of the cornrow just right before the hair that i left out i'm still going to fill that place in with some more crochet hair because we don't need that space i went back to it with what was left after after i was done braiding the front of the hair so now for the front of the hair I was on I had to unravel each of the crochet hair so after I loosened it I now loosened my African thread my thread I don't know why I keep saying African like it's obvious it's African right so now I'll begin to take my part my hair in small sections like small sections now and I'll take each unraveled hair and I'm showing you guys my technique of gripping the braiding hair and then I'm going to now begin to braid my hair. Now, the crochet hair that I'm using, especially those that were at the back attached to the cornrows, are slightly looser. The, the grip on them were not tight, making them a bit looser. But for the purpose, for the fact that my hair is natural and I, I needed to grip it tight so that my hair, my natural hair does not um, like come out or show through after some days you know natural hair can actually do that so i had to grip it tight from the beginning of the hair up until the point where my hair stopped because my hair is actually much shorter than the hair i'm using in question so i will grip it tight until until the point my hair 
stop and my make sure my hair is tightly secured and tucked into the braid and then i'll loosen my hand a bit so that the rest of the braid could match the pattern of the rest of the hair at the back so now when i get to the point the point where the length of the braid is the same as the length of the hair at the back i will not tie it because you can see that the crochet hair has some parts where it was curled it wasn't braided all through so that's what i did so i tied at that point where i got to the same length and i'm going to curl that later So I just showed you guys the way I grip the hair once again for those of you who needed to see it for the second time. So I'm going to do the same thing all through. I will braid my all the hair in front just in smaller sections. I'll braid it tight at the beginning, get to the point where my hair stopped and I loosen my hand a bit so it could match the braiding pattern of the rest of the crochet hair and I was done. I tied each of them each of the hair in front and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so you can see that the crochet really looks natural from the front and it is properly covered so i'm going to be showing you guys can you see the coil pattern has actually been changed because i braided this myself so compare it to the way it was before look at the other one so i had to now get back to curl the other one to make sure that they look alike now i'm using that sewing thread i'm going to be taking i doubled it like so i think there's like four strands you need it to be kind of thick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um um i'm going to i'm going to begin to thread the hair like i don't even know you guys can see what i'm doing i don't know how to describe it so i'll just roll the thread around down the length of the part that i want to that i want to coil i'll just like loosely do it. i'm not going to put any pressure so when i get to the end of the hair i'm going to drag the hair forward pushing it forward and then everything will coil up and give me like this kind of periwinkle a periwinkle kind of shape a periwinkle is a snail i'm sure you guys know that yeah you could just google the picture of a periwinkle so this is like what i just felt it like periwinkle so i divided my hair into two groups like the hair in front to do this if you want your curls to be a little bit more defined and you know want the curls to be like really really super super defined you can divide your hair into maybe like four strands i did into four groups i did mine into two i did mine into two sections i'm going to tie it at the tip there to secure it and i'm going to be coiling this using hot water so you have to be very careful with this process so you don't hurt yourself helps have someone help you if you need to so i'm going to dip this hair in, in hot water just for a few seconds maybe like 30 seconds so i'm going to put in some like dip the hair further so that it will blend more with the braiding pattern behind then i'm going to be taking my hot my towel with some hot water this is actually hot, really hot water like it boiled so i'm going to just be using it to touch my scalp this actually relieves you it doesn't hurt you it just relieves the stress and pain that you may be feeling from braiding the hair the hair in front so now i'm unraveling it and showing you guys what my curl pattern looks like and i was pretty impressed with the result because it matched it really matched the original curl pattern of the hair so you guys can see after some time it's going to still stretch and be as long as the other part or as the other crochet hair at the back so now i'm taking some gel to just apply to make sure that the curl is the curls are set and they remain that way and they remain bouncy so, so i'm using my white gel you could use echo styler for this also So now I'm just applying some hair cream to bring back that shine and to make everything look good and basically this is the entire process so I'm just going to do my makeup and I'll be right back so now my makeup is right back I have a tutorial on this and it's going to be dropping soon so you guys make sure you um, you have your notification belt on so that you know when I drop it so now I'm using this hair accessories um, to just um, like basically make my hair more fun I love to accessorize my hair because you know that's the thing that's the ish and now this is the finished look and I'm loving this hair it is super lightweight it is so easy to me like it's low maintenance it's a perfect protective style for you I'm so happy with my hair I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up comment share and I'll see you guys in my next video bye